Hey guys, it's Brian from IndieRuckus.com. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a demo. I picked this up from Kickstarter. It's a game called Ira. So if you like what you see, make sure to check out their Kickstarter project page, which of course is in the demo, and probably in an annotation on your screen right now. Um, anyway, it says click here to play, so I'm going to click here and play. You know, I'm just going to admit right now that I don't have really much any experience with point-and-click adventure games. I, I never played Monkey Island back in the day, but I am excited to play this guy right here. Were it possible for one to dream in stasis, the implications would be beyond comprehension. Imagine what wonders the mind might produce given hundreds of years unrestrained. All right, Edmund Hen Henderson. Interesting thought to ponder. So I'm just going to imagine this game gets a little dreamlike, a little surreal. <clears throat> Dad, pay attention to the way I'm doing this, Ira. These all need to have a good seal for the engines to run smoothly. All right, Dad. Maybe say I love you once in a while. You don't want to over-tighten any of these bolts, just enough to make sure the lines are secure. All right, we're almost finished here. Can you bring me the wrench from the workbench? So I'm just like standing here like 20 feet away. Well, Dad fixes the car. This thing's seen a lot of use. Dad has probably fixed half the stuff in our house here. All right, let's find that wrench then. Tools, wrench. Okay, place pointer at the top of the screen, reveal items Ira is carrying. Gotcha, there it is. Dra click and drag any item from the inventory to the object you wish to interact with. Alright, I think I can manage that. Let's use the wrench on Dad. <laughs> use the wrench on the car. Okay, I want to hand it to you. Oh wait, that's right, I have to click and drag. I'll use the wrench on my father. He's my robot father. Ooh. Wrenching his nuts tight. Alright, just a few more turns in this bolt here. Yeah, that's what he calls it. Alright, now I just need another piece of hose. Yep, mm -hmm, I know what he's talking about. I think there is some in the box in the barn. Yeah, I can make it over there, I think. But how do I... Okay, we'll go outside. The night air was crisp. A cool wind moved in from the north, catching up the last of summer's warmth. Well, that sounds nice. I'd say that pretty much describes the weather here right now, too. That was here before I move in. I think it pumps water from the well. I like the change in perspective. Dad will be leaving again once all the crops are in. He never says it, but going to the mines on Mars all winter must be terrible. Okay. So, it's like a hundred years from now and he still has like a 56 Chevy truck? I, I have no idea if that's actually a 56. Uh, for all I know, it's like a 35, but... You know what? You probably don't know either, so... Maybe it worked. I can't remember where I was supposed to be going. The well? The tree? Do I need to go to the tree? The leaves are so colorful this fall, but almost but it's almost winter now. There's a tractor. Dad bought this before he married mom. He said when he comes home from mining in the spring he'll teach me how to drive it. The hose in the gas thing is exactly like the one we need to finish the car. Um, I think I'll probably take it, so that I'm not wandering around doing nothing. Ira pulls hard on the old hose. It's so corroded that it easily breaks free, ripping in half. Oh, nice job, Ira. Ira looks down the rotten, broken hose in his hand briefly before dropping, le dropping it uselessly to the ground. Yeah, get those adverbs in there. Gas runs out of the remnant of hose hanging on the tractor, pooling on the ground and forming small streams in the grass. The tank must have been nearly full. Ira, you fucked up again. Let's go in the barn, just to see what's in there. I like that rocket 
uh, weather vane up there. The darkness in the barn is thick, but moonbeams through the cracks give just enough light to illuminate a few boxes tucked in the corner. Something shifts in the upper loft, but is out of view and concealed by shadows. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's search the boxes. Now let's climb up the loft. Let's go up there, see what's making the noise. Ira climbs the sheer ladder of the upper loft and peers over its edge. The moonlight quickly falls off to blackness and nothing can be made out. You can't make out with anything up there. Let's search it. Ira steps into the silent darkness, but even from this closer vantage, nothing can be seen. Memory tells him he must be near the far wall, but the feeling is that of standing in an abyss. Let's just keep searching. We're, we gotta find something up here. Ira's hands meet with a metal surface, smooth and cold. The object is large, taller than he can reach, and far too wide to put his arms around. So he had to reach around to find this thing that's like huger, for him, huger than him. It is sturdy and finely crafted, unlike anything else on the farm or that Ira has ever experienced. Ira's hands continue to probe the object. Wait, is this a romance novel? Uh, it continues to probe the object. And, oh, pfft. He lays his palm on the glass, and a startling feeling of nearness to another person falls over Ira. He recoils at the sensation, all this seemingly impossible, but in this darkness, reason has little place. Very novel-like. Uh, Ira makes his way back down the ladder, unsure of what he's found, and his fear subsides as he distances himself from the device. Um, I guess I'll call up to the loft, although I doubt anything's going to happen. Ira's voice is swallowed up by the darkness. There's no response. Okay, well, let's search the old boxes then. Mice scurry out as Ira feels around the boxes. He tosses aside old oil-soaked rags, and his fingers quickly find the soft rubber hose. I swear, this is like this is like a romance novel. <laughs> Ira tugs firmly, but is lodged between some rusted bits of junk and won't come free. He pulls again, harder this time, but his hose is... I mean, the hose is lodged... With one final heave, the hose comes free, but knocks the box to the ground and sends its contents bouncing into the darkness. Whoa. Iris' fist tightly closed around the hose. His hand flies upward with force, bumping an old radio concealed by the shadows in the wall, jostling it to life. Ira looks around the darkness of the barn and is overcome with a feeling of unwelcomeness. He hurries out the door, hose in hand. Yeah, he's got his hose in hand. Bro, let go of your hose, man. You're done. Your dad wants to see your hose, but you don't have to run around with it flopping about. Yeah, so like I said, I haven't played many adventure games. I don't know how novel-like uh, they usually aim for. This one's definitely kind of aiming for that very uh, descriptive storytelling. Lots of adjectives and adverbs. Let's talk to dad. That's the hose, hand it here and I can finish up. Oh. I have things I need to do inside, it's getting late anyway. Oh, okay, I gotta hand him the hose then. I keep accidentally clicking like I wanna go outside though. Use the hose on dad. Yeah, he's gonna use that hose on dad, right? Maybe it's like an enema hose. Okay, now I just need to clamp this down here. Oh, he likes it kinky like that, huh? Put it in the vice. Squeeze it. That's about all we can do. The car should run for now, and we'll have to figure something else out later. Thanks for the help, Ira. You'll be able to do this yourself soon, I'd bet. Except that you're not showing me anything. <laughs> you're just doing it yourself. Why don't you go and see if your mother needs any help with dinner? Uh, I'm just going to say okay, because it's boring in here. Thanks for the help, Ira. I'll see you inside for dinner. Let's go see a different character. Maybe a character that I can actually see their face. It's so cold on Mars, I doubt this stuff is enough to keep Dad warm in his... <laughs> yeah, I doubt too. And I'm not sure how he breathes either. He just has a straight up like pickaxe, like he's an old prospector looking for gold on Mars. Let's check out these fam picks. Most of these pictures are pretty old. We haven't been able to take a new family portrait in a few years. They look like they're black and white. That's what's really kind of strange about this game is that 
he's, you know, he's wearing suspenders, he looks straight up Amish, and everything's black and white, his dad's working on an old car, but they are mining on Mars, so I don't know if it's like an alternate reality, or if it's one of those stories where, like, technology has, like, gone back while also going forwards. I mean, look at that TV. I brought this in earlier today, it's starting to get cold at night. It's a small fireplace, but it's enough to keep the house, keep most of the house warm in the winter. All right, let's look at this TV. <laughs> let's look at Channel Nine. While Space Cadets Astro and Manning prepare a jet boat for long-range search, Tom Corbett and Major Connell, exploring on foot, stand at the base of a solid mountain of ice over six thousand feet high. Even the voice it, it sounds straight out of the fifties. I'd lost the 800,000 in jewels, William Kahn, and enough blood. I want to Let's find check out old Charlie Channel 2. Let's turn the TV off. This isn't a TV kid. You can tell. He likes to play outside. Let's look at the bookshelf. I keep my books in my room. Most of these are mom's. Yeah, I bet he keeps his books in his room. More like magazines. Under the bed, gets his hose out, spills gas. No, I'm not. I'm not even gonna go that far. Ira. Oh, I didn't know you were asleep. That's all right, Ira. Not quite sleeping, just tired. So I'm. I'm assuming that she's sick because it asked me if I wanted to ask how she was doing earlier. Uh, let's let's see if we can help with dinner. Oh, thank you. There's a pot on the table in the kitchen. Could you put it on the stove for me, please? After you put dinner on the stove and go tell your father to wash up for supper, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll join you too. Thank you, Ira. I'm hoping his name's Ira, and it's not like Ira, and the developers are like wincing every time I say his name. I like how I walk one step at a time. There we go. There we go. Shuffling down, shuffling down. Attic, no. Let's look at old grandfather clock. Old grandpappy. It's time for dinner, says grandpappy. Uh, I have other things I need to do. Yep, look at that old icebox. Look at that old sack of taters. Dad and I dug those up last week from our garden. Mom makes the best fried taters. We'll be eating again soon. I don't need anything from here right now. I d I've just decided that he, he really needs to speak that way from now on because, I mean, look at the kid. He ain't got no education. Sometimes my mom's having a rough day and dad and I have to fend for ourselves for dinner. It always comes out of a can. Well, cans contain uh, the chemical biphenyl A, BPA, IRA, so you should really learn more about what you're putting in your body. Pretty old and beat up. I'm surprised mom does most clean with this. Okay, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to put the stew on the stove, huh? Stew. Is this going to go in my inventory now? It's like vanishes. Ah, there it goes. Alright, stew. Come back out of Ira's pants and onto the stove place. Now I've got supper cooking, I should go get Dave from the garage. Alright, simple enough. Simple enough, Ira. I wish that I could hold the click. I have to re-click for each location he goes to. Um, unlike in, like, Don't Starve, you know, where you can hold the button. So that's what, why I start just shuffling, because, you know, it makes it easier to walk if I can just keep clicking. But then he looks like a goofball. Oh, tries to run half the time. I'm not sure what the purpose would be for running, like, two steps in front of you anyway. Man, music's getting intense here, though. I feel like something's happening. Oh. Alright, Dad. You took every single thing and left. The sound of water floods the senses, washing away an old reality, leaving in its place a bleak sense of lonely existence. The room grows cold. Really, is that what you think, Ira? You thinking all that stuff in your head, boy? Okay, and I assume I can't go out here because of the one plank of wood because you know Ira could never remove that alright let's go see what mom has to say about all this nonsense 
So dad's finally left your ma. Saw him drive away with the old game. Oh, okay, so everything's gone. Great. Ira. Have you really just been living here all by yourself, pretending you have parents this whole time? I can't go to the room. Okay. They even took the rug. Come on. That was my rug. They better not got my magazines. Okay, well, we'll go in the attic now, I guess. Because we gotta get Ira's magazines back. That's what he's most concerned about right now. A familiar feeling comes with the pale light streaming through the old attic, but it's fleeting. A Victrola sits alone, thickly coated with dust, long forgotten and claimed by the slow process of decades gone by. So, hey, you got my porno mags? I want my hustlers back. You got my penthouse? The feeling returns with the winding of old gears. What does that say? Theater. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Are we winding back time right now? Okay. There goes Dad. Taken off to go to the bar with his girlfriend. There's Ira being sad, sitting by a tombstone. Oh, I wonder if that's the big shiny metal thing? But I mean, how could that be up on a loft? And he has to like, reach around just to find a rocket that's huger than his barn. Okay. And people started swinging water balloons around. I understand. The story's making sense to me now. Okay, can I move? Oh, alright. Let's go over to the sparking console. Well now. This is much more futuristic. We weren't supposed to dream in stasis. Ah, there we go. How long have we been here? My head is splitting. I can barely remember being put under. These pods are all powered down. Something must have gone wrong. I hardly knew most of these people. Why weren't they automatically revived? That's a little bit creepy. Things are starting to come together now, though. That quote in the beginning about dreaming in stasis. There's no way to tell what's happened from down here or even where we are. I need to get to the bridge. It's my best chance of finding out what's going on. I want to talk to the center console anyway. Let's check out the status of the pods. Zero active stasis chambers, zero life signs. Oh great, so they're all dead. External sensors compromised, please contact engineering. Internal sensors, oh okay, so. Well, let's wait with the, there we go, connect to the network. Uh, I don't know which one. <laughs> Connecting. Hello, is anyone there? Please respond, I need help. Oh. Well, probably doesn't matter, but... Yes, I'm right here. What form of assistance do you require? Um... You're alone? In what way? We're alone? I don't know what you're talking about. I suspect that we are failing to communicate effectively. Can you hear me properly? Let's get to the bridge. 
At last, you're making sense. Come around to the back of the console and bring me out. What is he, like a little gnome? This is not a complex task. Your time in stasis may have caused your mental state to have diminished. There's a release on the rear of the console. Pull it. Oh, great. So now he's calling me stupid. Me and this console are not going to be getting along. Let me tell ya. Please be a little gnome in a box. It'll be much easier for me if you take me with you. Okay, so it's just a stupid robot brain in a box. Okay, I'll be able to access the hatches locked from the hat. Wait, the hatches locked from the hatch control console. Take me over there. Um, I don't know where he's talking about, but let's walk over here. Let's cripple walk over here. Looks like there's nothing over here. Run, bro. There we go. Double click and a spot for run, which probably was obvious to everyone except for me. Yeah, I know I should. Let's do it. Okay, there's not nearly enough power reaching this terminal. Actually, the entire vessel is on emergency power. Fuel levels are good. A protocol seems to have shut down the ship's generators. Whoa. That doesn't look good. This place is filling up with blood. Appears the ship's generators would experience a malfunction. It would be wise to proceed to the central console to divert this deadly torrent of water and toxic fuel. Okay. Do it, buddy. Input these numbers in the interface. 22. <laughs> okay, I can do that. 59. All right. 25. Sure. Whoa. I didn't have enough time for that one. Did I seriously just die? I don't think I could have clicked any faster. Was that the end of the demo or did I die? Huh. Hmm, I'm gonna assume that that was what was supposed to happen. I, I wanted to click that at 25, it was right there, and they didn't let me. The old make them want more trick. Alright, it worked, I can see that. So uh, that was uh, Ira, and you can again fund this guy on Kickstarter, especially if you're a fan of adventure games. Um, and the link will be in the description. Um, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time on IndieRuckus.com.